Hi, it's Ken from Intrinsic Running. In today's video, I would like to talk about uh, what kind of footwear I wear when I run and when I walk. Several years ago, back in 2009, a friend of mine gave me this book, uh, Born to Run by Christopher McDougall, and it really changed my life. It certainly spurred major changes in my running. Um, for one thing, I used to be a classic heel striker for decades. I taught myself how to uh, become a four-foot striker, landing with a less impactful four-foot landing versus uh, reaching way out and striking first with the heel. I also changed up uh, the kind of footwear I wear. I used to run in, in uh, highly structured, kind of stiff motion control shoes, and I switched to minimalist footwear and sometimes barefoot. So this is uh, the first kind of minimalist footwear I started to run in. This is a Vibram Five Fingers uh, Bikila model. It's the first model that Vibram came out with that was specifically geared to running. This particular pair is uh, kind of beat up, as you can see. It's six years old. It's got about 1,200 miles on it, but I still run in it. I ran uh, earlier this week in, in these, about five or six miles. And um, I've put some shoe goo on the bottom a few times to extend the life of the soles. And I'll probably continue to run in these at least another 100 miles. And I have a Another pair, the same model, different color, but that's about a year, a uh, year younger. Um, again, I put shoe goo on the bottom. I, I really like this model, and I wish they still made it a closure with a strap. It makes it easier to get in and out of than their current, their current shoe. This is the Bikila Evo that they came out subsequent to the original Bikila. It's got this lacing system. A lot of people like it versus the strap, but I prefer. Um, the old version because these are, are tighter and it's just harder to get in and out of but they are a little bit lighter and like their the original on um, Bikilas they're, they're very flexible they've got a zero drop sole and if I want to run fast I'm going to wear something like this because I can really run uh, fast in these these five fingers next thing I'm going to show you is um, these sandals company called Zero Shoes, spelled with an X, X-E-R-O, Shoes. Um, they started shortly after this, this book came out. Um, they sell, most, sell mostly on the internet, but um, this is a, called the uh, Zero Shoes Contact. It's a six millimeter thick sole, very flexible. It's about as minimalist as you can get with the, um, just a rubber sole and then the lace, that's it. And it comes as a kit, so the first thing you do is measure the length of your foot. Um, then, based on that, you select from a whole bunch of different sizes, and they send you the materials. Um, the soles come in a few different colors, and the uh, laces come in many different colors, and there's a few colors, like this one, that have some reflective material woven into it, which I got because I do a lot of my running in the dark, either early in the morning, or um, in the evening, depending on the time of the year. So I like to have reflective material. Um, so it comes with a hole punch, and you locate where the hole should be here, and you punch that out. And then there's various videos that are linked on their website that show you different uh, lacing styles, different ways of lacing. This is a kind of a slip-on style. And I've linked down in the description box below uh, a video I did a few years ago showing my preferred way of lacing my Zero Shoes. And this is basically just a, as I said, a slip-on style, and I'll just show you how they go on. So they go on and off really easily. It's your one foot. Okay. And I like having the, the two strings here because it, it just fits a little more uh, snugly. So this doesn't flop around as much. But that's what that looks like. And you got the heel strap back there. And take it off, you just do that. And once you get the tension right, it'll take a, a few... Um, attempts early on, then you don't really have to mess with it anymore because this this uh, polyester lacing doesn't really stretch out. But you may have to snug it up a few times initially until you get the, the tension right. Um, the next thing, this is another type of sandal from Zero Shoes that they came out subsequent to their more basic style. This has a, um, a five and a half or six millimeter sole, similar to the other one, but it's got some modifications. It's a little fancier. If you don't like having the lace between your first and second toe, there's no toe post and no lace going through there. Instead, it has this 
strapping system. Um, so I wear these to, both for running and walking. It's, it's very adjustable and it's basically when I get in and out of it, I use this uh, Velcro strap in the back and just slip my foot in. This comes to an, a few different colors and different sizes, of course. So this is called the Amari z Trek Z because of the, the pattern of the strapping. Okay, the next kind of footwear is also from Zero Shoes. This is their first shoe model, close toe shoe model. It's called the uh, Impari Hana. And like their sandals, it's uh, fairly lightweight, very flexible, zero drop sole, which means the same thickness at the front and the back. Um, it's about five and a half millimeters thick, very similar to their sandals. It's got this uh, very thin sock liner that you can pull out. And um, the way I have it laced, it's not too tight, so I can just, I just leave this tied here and I just slip them on and off. It's got a canvas upper that, that's pretty durable, which, uh, which I like. I, again, I haven't run in these. Um, I may attempt to run in them, but I, I just prefer the sandals. And um, I ran in this this morning, 11 miles at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And my toes were a little cold at the beginning, but then they warmed up. So I really haven't felt the need to wear closed toed shoes um, for running yet. But I do walk in these a lot. I wear them at work and I'm very happy with them. They're very comfortable. And um, so why do I wear this kind of footwear? Well, again, uh, because it's non-supportive, because it's uh, very thin, zero drop, it really allows your, your feet to strengthen and, and allows your feet to function as they're meant to function. For decades, I wore um, relatively stiff, heavy motion control shoes. And inside those shoes, at least when I was running, I would have um, rigid prescription orthotics. I, I gave all that stuff up, transitioned to minimal shoes and sometimes barefoot. And it's really uh, had a lot of benefits. I just don't get injured the way I used to. I, I run as much as I want. Um, and running is more enjoyable as well. Uh, it just feels better. So that's what I wanted to show you today. So until um, next time, have fun.